morning guys welcome to today's video I just wanted to start today's video really quick Sam and I are up chores are done girls are sleeping it is the last weekend before school starts so yeah. we're letting everybody take mm. advantage yeah so all right Sam before we start today's video yesterday Sam graciously took his time to build us an amazing uh, ramp bunk bed for the goats in their stall but we had a concern that the goats might jump over the question today do you think anybody jumped their stalls last night no. you definitely think that nobody jumped why do you think that because I built an awesome thing that's not high enough for them to jump <laughs> Oh, well, that, that is very wrong. Oh, was I thinking of putting a railing there? Well, I think we're going to be putting a railing there because it was a mayhem when I went out there this morning. They jumped it? <laughs> oh, they jumped it. What do you think about building something in the water trough so if any animal gets in it, they can climb out? <laughs> what? She runs off all the time. We let them run free on the property. How am I supposed to watch her every second? He said, I say you just watch your dog. <laughs> but look at all this wood pile that we have here. We have lots to build. Are you going to fix the goat thing right now? Okay, uh, yeah. call me when you go. All right, so this radio is a whole new story now. <laughs> Do you want the radio on? I don't care. Well, hi, Penny. How did you know today I have a plan for you? What's wrong? How come you're here all by yourself? Look, they're chewing this stuff too. Aww. Oh my god, they're so cute. So what do you have on her? They're fluffy things for their halter. And then you have on a fake saddle? Okay, it's her neck. It's her neck piece for her and blanket? And I'm going to use this as a girth. Oh. She's too <laughs> small for everything we have. <laughs> this might be too big. And then I'm going to put these on her feet. Oh, I can't wait to see her. So Sylvie is excited to dress her up and put a fake saddle on her. Obviously, we will not be riding this baby. Of all the dogs with me today. Hi, babes. Look, I have some green stuff. I'm trying everything to see what I can get that's a snack for them. Ellie's like, I'll eat it. No, nope, they're going for the water trough. What? Oh, you look so funny. <laughs> Remember, she got those for Finn. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was over on TikTok for five minutes and the stuff people are saying on our TikTok is so crazy. They said that I blamed another horse for giving Chino Lyme disease. Lyme disease comes from ticks. You can't get it from another horse. And they're saying that we sold lots of horses that all we do is buy and sell horses. And I'm like, what the heck? Also, someone was saying that we sold Finn when he was lame. They said he was lame and that we sold him lame. Stop it. So ridiculous. The horse literally was lame once in his whole entire life with us. And it was when we first got him and Willow kicked him. It was in his back leg, but it was like on a joint or something. I don't know. Some place that we had to like let him rest for a couple of weeks before we rode him again. It was like so minor. He just had a little bit of swelling. But the, do but the horse actually is... She's never... His build and his feet were such good. Get out of there right now. <laughs> Yesterday when I was cleaning the field, they were like right beside me the whole time. I know, I love them. Yeah, so uh, last night Sophie came out and just cleaned the field all on her own. Oh my gosh. Sophie, it's not clean anymore. Yeah, well. <laughs> That's life for you. Last night she came out early before we did chores. And literally, I came back and there was not a single bit of poop in this field. So we took some advice from you guys. And we started putting Chino's hay because he's getting a lot. Um, that's his wet hay. That's all the wet hay they have left. They ate a bunch of it this morning. But then we ended up putting the dry hay in here. And then I see Willow's got a pile right beside Chino. Because I was saying that we're worried about willow getting so much because this guy gets like a bale of day a bale of hay every day during the day and then he gets like three quarters of a bale at night so we're giving him a lot of hay we're giving him as much as he can eat now that he can actually eat it without getting abscesses and without foundering his tummy is coming along Lyme disease is going away 
and he's getting aggressive. <laughs> He's getting an attitude. A lot of the stories that I read about people with their horses having Lyme said that one of the symptoms was that their horses got really nasty under saddle. Not nasty, but obviously like they were uncomfortable. So they did like a lot of behaviors. And one thing about Chino, he never threw fits. He never had behaviors, like not real behaviors, but honestly, it only ever really came out really strong this last summer. But still, like he's always such a nice boy. But he's starting to get attitude. He's starting to resist his medicine. He's starting to tell us no. He's not gonna do stuff that we ask him to do. <laughs> so right now, all he's doing is healing and eating. Healing and eating. I do not know where Ellie's going, but I see her going down there. I don't know where the goats are, but I... <laughs> what are you doing? You wanna come or did Molly chase you? You coming with me? You left your friend behind. Come on, Molly. Come on. Over here. Come out here. Anyways, now that we have like um, a buck on the property, our does <laughs> never want to do anything but stand at the fence line. So I assume they're over here. But they're not actually. Oh my gosh. Keeping track of the goats has been like a, a nightmare. As you heard, they jumped from here over this little gate and were running wild all night. At least three of them were. Come on. All right, I'm coming. But they are here standing at the fence line <laughs> with the buck. You want to pee? Here, little boy. You want to try it? Apparently goats love this stuff. They do love it. So they've been coming in this little area here along this fence line trying to get to the boys. Stop drinking that water. What the heck, Ellie? Get out of there. Chino's even getting to the point now where he's like telling Willow to leave his food alone. I see some belly coming. Good boy. Yeah. It's dress up day on the day by day farm. <laughs> she looks cute. <laughs> She looks cute always with everything. Yeah, she's a brave girl. She's never had a really bad experience. Um, so somebody recommended a name. Oh, I love it. They recommended a name for this barn. And I love the name. We got to vote on it. Ellie, stop torturing the goats. Not Sam's barn. Two barn farm. Two barn farm. Two barn farm. I love it. I like two barn farm because I'm always talking about both farms. Yeah. Like we're always in one farm, barn or the other barn. Oh, so that's for the goats, not for the water. <laughs> the water. I think we should put something on in the water so that animals can get out because... Yeah, you can buy those things. For, they have them for pools. It's like a floaty thing. I could build something out of wood. Yeah, even if you just set it on it's half like of the... a hook and then a little platform. Yeah, or if they jump in. Yeah, I could do that. All right, well, let's go down to the barn and see. I should bring honey down there. All right, bring honey down. The goats are all out there trying to mate. I think you guys should know that in the grand scheme of things, we have nailed the fencing thing. Like, those goats have been trying to get in to, we, to be with each other, like the boys and the girls, for days now. They have been like pushing against the fences, trying to climb the fences. Like, he's trying to mount the... He's trying to mount the girls through the fence, and still we've been he's staying strong. Right yeah, he's doing it right now. Like, this is all we do yeah, now is fine. try and get mated. Yeah. I had Sam put um, a fence here again. Blossom's in heat now. I know they're all. They've all come into heat. Even the babies. Come on, Molly. Are you coming? Molly's so lost. Are you sure she hasn't been in the round ring? So another thing I want to do today, we're actually going to go and do something fun with the dogs today. Once Gabby wakes up, she's taking advantage of her last days as a non-school girl. But I want to cut these things up, get Sam to help me with his saw, and then move it to the wood pile because it's just taking away like all the grass and stuff that our horses or that our goats could be eating. Ah, 
Wow, that's interesting. I like it. I mean, they could jump here, but I don't think they'd be. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. I think that yeah, you're safe. Want enough room for them to jump this way. Yeah, and he cut the corner off there yesterday so that it wouldn't be sharp for them. Goats are like all like. We had a farm for four years almost. We had a little farm and it was calm. This is not calm. Even the horses are not calm here. I love being able to take our horses different places. Like I love that she's getting to be exposed to another barn and she gets to come down here. Cause you never know when a time might come that we have to like bring the horses, horses down here. I love the barn here in summer because it's cold. Yeah, it's cool. And I'm sure this barn's gonna be warm in winter. It's they're pretty solid. All right, I believe this. Yeah, I think. I don't think they can jump from here to there. <laughs> what do you think, Sophie? You think they can? Just because he was wrong last time, I think they can. All right, I think he's probably pretty safe this time. Uh, it, once the winter hits, I'm gonna pad that all up with a bunch of hay, and they can cuddle and snuggle can you up in there. Come on the second level. Sure. The smaller one. So you know what somebody said? Somebody said that. People often use A-frames for their duck and their goose. Straight up. A-frames for what? For oh. the duck. They make just like an A-frame yeah. and they... Yeah, we could have done that. Yeah, we yeah. should with the plywood. We should do that and even well, put a... Keep, no, uh, no, no, no. Don't do that. No, what they do is A-frame and then they put chicken wire or something on it. And the bottom? No, on the top. Oh. A-frame, you know, like... Is this water medicine? It's wood going this way and then that way and then they put... Oh chicken wire or something there so they can go under oh so they just leave an opening underneath an opening at the at either end or one end or well I don't get the chicken wire part drink this water? no I don't get the chicken wire connection but uh, we should do that because especially if we make it like um, portable yeah put wheels yeah. or something on it, it be portable too yeah we can move it around and then they can if we need to have that I love that idea and I've seen it a million times. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Yeah, they should. it's called chicken tractors. You can buy chicken tractors. Well, I mean, this is different, though. Almost. Almost the yeah. same, yeah. They, they should make these for miniature ponies, man. What? Because these fluffy. Well, we could do that. It'd be easy to make them for miniature she horses. to say hi to everyone. Hello. All right. Cool because All right, well, we're going to take the, our horses for a walk, and when we get back, we're going to open up another field. Mom. Are you all right with that? Whatever. You just make sure the gate stays open when you open it. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go. Let's take our horses for a walk, and then we're going to do some fun things with the dogs today. Can you guys spy it? Type yes if you see it. <laughs> Wait, I want Honey to me to go. <laughs> She's dragging me in here anyways, so... Can't drink that. Don't let her have that yeah. stuff. She goes for everything she can't have. Yeah, she's a she's a curious girl. Oh, and he's gone. She's like, oh, there was someone in there. Goats are like almost she, as big as honey. She, <laughs> okay, let's go. So you guys know that we did a lot of positive reinforcement stuff with our horses in the summer. I'm babysitting honey. Go <laughs> away, and she's bored. Anyways. Uh, it's one of my passions. It's like one of the things I really love to do. Ever since we moved here, one of the things that I really want to do <laughs> is not be rubbed on by a baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's into everything. Hey, <laughs> stop. <laughs> That's Benny's. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> She's like a kid. You take her away she from her mom kid. and she acts bad. Anyways, what am I think one of the things I've been really wanting to do with Penny, and I'll be practicing it a lot this fall, is I want to teach her to come. So like like a dog. When you say come and then they come. And when you say stay, they stay. So that's one thing that I want to teach her. But I also want to take her down the path and I want her to just come with me without a halter without anything I just want to like go for a walk with her that's like a goal of mine so today we're gonna to start that process I'm gonna take her for a walk I'm gonna try and take off her lead rope a few times and reward her and just see how it goes but we're just gonna go for a quick walk down the path while we wait for Gabby Sophie and I are still literally at the stage where everywhere we walk on this farm we're like look at that look at this look at that like we just stop and stare at everything 
Like we're just so amazed by them. I'm actually amazed that they don't try and swim in the horse trough. <laughs> I tried to catch Lucy to get the Lucy hairs out. Yeah, she's her. got hair in her nose. Gracie's up here. Can you guys guess why? Mm -mm. Can you guess? Because her baby. If her baby is, if her. She's like, I'm not going back. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and that is a huge thing. This pony doesn't want to go with the horses. She wants to be busy with us. Penny, come here. Oh, they're all here. Penny. So the only bad part about trying to take one horse or two horses for a walk is that our horses I'm all try and come. Somebody thinks they're sneaking up behind me, but they're not. You wanna go for a walk on the trail? So something that you guys didn't see yesterday, which, which I didn't get a chance to really explain, is that Penny practically drags me to the trail when I'm in the saddle. She's like so excited to go there. And ever since we moved to this farm, she has literally turned into like the best horse ever. Do you guys remember? Every time I would ride her at home on like a little trail around the property, she would like do these little fake buck things where she would like pretend like she was gonna buck. This horse like has turned into a perfect horse just from being ridden on this property. Storm's coming. Oh yeah, storm's coming. Penny's like, let's go, I love this. She does love it. All right, so this is gonna be tricky because literally if Storm gets out here with no halter, then we're in trouble. Because. Close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. Come on, Penny, come on. We got out, they got out. All right, good, okay, listen, we're not, it's not an eating fest. All right, so really all she wants to do is eat. <laughs> All right, I gotta put this camera away for a second and figure this out. Okay, stop, listen. Let's show them what we've been working on. Stop, stay, stay, Penny, <laughs> stay. Ah, no, not yet, <laughs> we're not getting there. Stay, wait, I have to reword for that. Stay, good girl, stay. Okay, every time I take the camera out, I swear to God, she doesn't do what I want. She thinks it's like an opportunity for her to do whatever she wants when I take the camera out because I'm filming. Any kind of training I do, I have to put the camera down. She's on too fat, she's lazy now. We just saw Thanksgiving. This is the first time I saw a turkey on the property. It was an actual turkey and he was all alone and he just ran down the, just ran across the field. The path, we're gonna go spy him. And I'm just joking, we never kill something and eat it. Even though we eat killed things. We're just not the killing, we're just not the killers. It literally just ran through here. <laughs> Come on! Clearly these guys were lonely. They just stood there screaming the whole time. Okay, found that. Um, we have, so yesterday I noticed that Penny had some bug bites on her chest. And then today I noticed that the bugs are like really on that spot a lot. So I'm gonna put some cream on her, but also, I forgot to mention, Chino's completely off pain meds now. Yeah, he says. <laughs> it's time for me to do stuff. Gabby's gonna take you for a walk. I like this cream because it soothes her. Gracie's. It, oh my gosh. Because it'll soothe the scratches on her chest from the bugs, from her scratching herself from the bug bites. And it'll keep the bugs away. They can't really land in this cream. But I found some fly masks. So, I was, <laughs> come on, here look, storm look, look we got treats, here give them some because my hands are covered in cream, follow, follow us, the other horses will follow you, come on, I was noticing the other day that this grass, why are you putting them behind me, this grass is pretty much all eaten, so today we decided we're going to open up the another field for them so let's see look you get to go you're the first one nobody else came we should go take a walk around and make sure that there's no fences call broken them, call them and tell them that they get to eat more grass 
So Sam will have to come out Yay. here and c cut all these weeds now. Every time I look at a horse, I see if they're squared up. I know, once you're learning something, it's sometimes all you can see. All right, the first one. She's like, whoa, what's happening? Gonna she's gonna, gonna yeah, she's like, wow, this is new. Take your time, why don't ya? <laughs> okay, it's better that she's careful down the hills. Yeah, she is really careful down hills. And now suddenly she's, she's really careful going down hills. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> New pasture. Come on, Gracie. And, oh, don't trip. Here, grab her and put this on. Here. All right, so we're just waiting for one more. One oh, more. <laughs> and she is not careful downhills. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, lots of shade it's really in here. Bad about miniatures is nothing fits them. There you go. There's some sticks in here. We're gonna have to get those out of here. Hi, bud. Give store some treats. I'll bring our wagon over, and we'll get those sticks. And Gracie's done. She's going back. I love this for them. It's like every month there's a new pasture and there's a new place to go and new experiences and it's so fun today, for them. We need to put them in a different field. Hold on. Hold on, Missy. Oh, we decided to try someplace new. Come on. Ellie, go. Apparently, what is she doing? Apparently she there's a the lot to smell here. We wanted to bring the dogs someplace that they could kind of run free a little. <laughs> and there they go. And Sophie brought a net because you know she's all about the fish. Dad, is there a way to keep it longer? It is gorgeous here. Sophie caught it. I just turned the page, let it ride. What a life. And ooh, yeah, I feel it now. Every atom in my body feels okay. Mm, yeah. It's a new day for the time. Yeah, yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful?